Let's take a look at the molecular geometry and bond angles here for ClO2. This is chlorine dioxide. So we'll start with a valid Lewis structure. This is our Lewis structure here. If you need help drawing the Lewis structure, there's a link in the description of this video how to do that. You will note that we do have a single electron here in our Lewis structure. We're going to treat that as a pair of electrons when we look at the molecular geometry. So if we look at the chlorine, we're going to look at this from the perspective of the central atom, this chlorine atom here. We can look at the steric number. We have one, two, three, four things bonded. So our steric number is four. And two of those things, these right here, these are lone pairs. We're going to count this as a lone pair. So four things, two lone pairs. We go over and we have a bent molecular geometry. Let's try to visualize this in three dimensions. So the purple is the central chlorine atom. We'll add the two oxygen atoms. There's one, two, they spread out. Then we're going to add the lone pair that pushes everything down. And then we add that single electron. We'll just treat it as a lone pair here. And you can see we end up with a bent molecular geometry for the ClO2 Lewis structure. If we looked at the electron geometry where we take these lone pairs into account, as well as these atoms, we have a tetrahedral electron geometry. But the molecular geometry, that's going to be bent. The ideal bond angle is 109.5. It's going to be a little different for this. Let's go back to our low structure. We could also use the AXE notation to figure out the molecular geometry for ClO2. A is the central atom. That's the chlorine. X, the number of atoms bonded. We have the two oxygen. And then E, that would be the number of lone pairs. We have the lone pair here, and we're going to count this as a lone pair. AX2E2. If you look this up again, it's going to be bent. Ideal bond angle 109.5. The actual bond angle will be 117.6 degrees between these oxygen atoms here. So different than the ideal bond angle we found here for ClO2. So to recap, we have a bent molecular geometry and a tetrahedral electron geometry. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.